Here's the 1978 Mercury Grand Marquis two barrel motorcraft carburetor. I'm going to convert to a manual choke system. I've removed the bimetallic choke thermostat. Now I have the choke actuator exposed. I'm going to take a look at the kit and see, uh, see about how to hook it up. Here's the converter disc, which will go on there to allow the choke cable to hook up to it. It comes with two discs, a large one and a small one. Here is the adapter mounted inside the disc. I know I need to replace that hose there. I got a little corrosion on it. I had to slightly bend the tabs of this out to get it to work, but the way it works is this rotating uh, shaft mates up with this choke actuator, and this is what makes the choke move here. So I'll put the adapter on now with the gasket and uh, demonstrate its operation. Sorry about this wind here. This is pretty typical of this area. It's really strong wind sometimes. Here's the completed choke installation. Got the adapter mounted on there and the uh, mounting bracket. The choke is now in the open position. And here's the choke actuator. Let me see if I can I don't know if you can really see the choke, see it work, when I pull it. It's kind of hard to see. Let me, let me put the camera up here. don't know if you're able to see it right there. I might have to get Organist 1982 to help me demonstrate it. We will be able to demonstrate the performance of it. I'm going to reassemble the air cleaner assembly and, and get it try to start it here and see how the manual choke performs. Okay, now it's time for the test. I'm going to pump the accelerator, engage the choke. Let's see, let's push the choke in a little bit here. Let's see, let me pull it out. We'll push it in somewhat and see. I'm going to try pulling out the choke a little bit. Okay, that's good. I'm going to try and see if I can have good control without having to hold down the accelerator pedal. I'm going to try just... Yeah. Okay, that seems pretty good. The engine's running. Let's take a look at it here. Seems like it's running smoothly. Yeah, it's idling very smooth. This never would have happened before with the old choke system. Hopefully it won't end up dying out. It seems like it's... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to have to try it again. Okay, I'm trying to experiment with settings of the choke that will keep the engine running. Okay, there we go. It's running pretty smoothly. push it in a little bit. And it's starting to starting to hesitate a little bit. I'm gonna give it a little bit less choke. But I really like having this control. It's like I don't know I don't know why they didn't always have manual choke adjustments. I guess they ideally the the thermostatic control is supposed to compensate for you but let me try pushing it in a little bit more. I'm just trying to find the optimal setting that'll keep it running smoothly and allow allow the engine to stay running. I'm gonna come up here and take another look at it. 
Okay, that seems nice and smooth. Let's just come around and take a look at the carburetor. Make sure there's no oil leaks or anything in there, or fuel leakage, or anything unexpected. I don't think there is. I think it's all okay. But I finally did it. Now, thank, thanks to your uh, encouragement from YouTube about the code. It runs so much better now.